It is so fun to make draggable fig jams. So what you'll notice that I have here is I've started a new fig jam, that's figjam.new, and I've added a background image. And I did that by just dragging the image that I want right on there, and then I locked it. Now there is a keyboard shortcut, Control-Shift-L, Control-Shift-L will lock it, or you can just right click and choose lock. Now that, now that that is locked, what I'm gonna wanna do is have elements that drag around onto the canvas. So you can see, I am here in Canva and I've designed my dragons. I want them to look like this with this really cool gradient background and the letter sounds so students can drag them around to create their spelling words. And what's really cool about Fig Jam is I can actually drag images in all at once. Like I don't have to do them one at a time. So not only is it super cool that I can just drag my images right onto the canvas, I don't have to do it one at a time. So I'm just gonna go here to share, and I'm gonna download, I'm gonna download the whole thing as a PNG, and I'll go ahead and unzip that file so I can just drag them right into Fig Jam. So in my Fig Jam, I have this background image, and I literally just dragged it onto there. I also designed it in Canva. And you'll notice I'm able to move this around. It's so easy to lock this down. I'm gonna right click and choose lock or Control Shift L, and now that canvas is locked. And so then this becomes really cool where I can just drag all of the images all at once. I'm just gonna drag them all at once right onto the canvas. There we go. And you're gonna see that I've got, I can rearrange these so they fit into my section. But I have all the draggables right on there all at once and now I can design my template how I'd like it. Super easy, one shot. So I cleaned up the draggables just a tiny bit. But in Fig Jam, it's so easy because it's gonna give me some little guides to help me know that I have them lined up correctly. So it was really fun and easy to do. So now I have the whole section and I'd like students to be able to do multiple attempts. So now notice the corners on here have the little squares. That means the whole section is selected versus right now nothing is selected. Well, this is the image, but it's locked. And so on the section, I'm going to control D, it's going to duplicate the whole section. And notice, it also duplicated all of the draggables right in there. So students will be able to drag those in there. I'm going to come back over here. And I'm going to control D, duplicate again. Zooming out, you can see that I have three of these. So I can have multiple ones. This would allow for more than one student to be working together on creating their sounds and shapes, which is nice as a teacher because you're able to work with multiple students at once, or a student can do multiple attempts with different challenges.